Hey, so the guys, it's Crying Nation here, and I'm recording a video or slash reviewing the Corsair RGB strafe. So it's RGB, like it changes colors and everything. There's software for that, and it's retailed at 160 off Amazon. I got it at GameStop because I'm a pro member for 110 with the $30 off coupon. It's kind of hard to get these, so if you're gonna get a gaming keyboard, get it now from um, GameStop. So it's really cheap. There's also the K95 and the K70, which are really good. Or you can get Razer if you want Razer. So, and there's different. So, I'm just going to talk about key switches, which are like when you click them, the sounds, and the heavyweight. The best key switches are MX Reds for gaming and MX Silence. MX Silence is expensive, but these are MX Reds, so they're like top of the line, I guess you could say. And I would click the keyboard so you can hear it and I'll put my mic up to it. So these keys are here, these WASDs as in FPS games are all textured. You can change them if you want. I put the textured on. There's also MOBA textured keys and there's also a Windows lock key right there with the blue one. So you can like lock the keys if you want it, the Windows key, so in case you ever click your Windows key here it doesn't mess up anything. So that's pretty cool for gamers, and they have a bunch of the F8 keys right here. There's up to F12, and they even have like scroll lock and print screen, so you can have all the cool stuff like that. And these are RGB, so the software is free, so you don't have to pay. The software's pretty cool, I'll show you guys the software right now. So you got the software right there. For Corsair, you have different ones, you have their Spire Rainbow, which... Is not standard, but you can change this. Spiral Rave, which is what I'll show you guys. Oh, actually, I'll just show you that. That divisor, which is that. You know, it shows everything on the screen to down here, so. I'll just show you guys that. And then we got the rain, which is ugly in my opinion. We got the color shift. So, like, it fades. That's what it's called. The color shift pulse, which is ugly in my opinion. It turns black. Like, the LEDs comes off, and then it goes... Then we got the type lining, so whatever key you click lights up. You can click whatever you want, and then you do turn off after like a couple seconds, so it's pretty cool. You got the ripple, which is you type it, and then it yeah it ripples from it. So like you can just go like this. Pretty cool, and they're all cool. So just saying the keys like if you're crazy about this. And like you're wondering, what if I turn on my computer and it doesn't have the key lighting? It only turns on when your Windows is fully on, so don't get scared. And then we got the Void microphone. So if you want to have like the Void headset, which is wireless, I think, and it's pretty expensive, you can do that. But I like the color, and then you can also change the speed in which you tweet, you change it, so you can go fast and everything you want. And then you can like change all your software. And everything to get the software, you go to corsair.com slash en s no not en just slash en slash uh, software download or just regular download because that's how I got mine. So it's cool if you get that. It's free. I had to spend like an hour looking for it, so I'll make it easy for you guys. And that's how you get it. And then you just click the keyboard you have, and then you download it. But. It is a great keyboard if you're going for gaming. The lifespan, I think, is 47 million clicks each key. So it is great. And the whole bottom piece is all white, so it makes the colors contrast out better. The sides are white over here, like when they light up, so it's pretty cool. And the wrist mount is textured and everything, and so is the... Space bar is what it's called. Space bar. And they do give you a key remover... So that's cool, and I think they do give you ones for the uh, the arrow keys. So if you want that, I know. Oh, wow, that's changing the speed. Slow, medium, fast. The rainbow looks really cool when you go fast, though. Probably does waste a lot of electricity, I'm guessing, with these RGBs. But you know, things run faster when you have RGB. Just saying, that's not true. But. You have RGB. Everything seems cooler. So don't you don't need an RGB keyboard to be playing. There's a special edition of this called the Strafe with the it's just full red uh, LEDs. So it's not RGB. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, and it's all these colors where it changes colors. If you guys didn't know, 
So if you're going with like a red setup, or you just don't have the money to pay an extra like 80 bucks for a RGB variant, you can get the regular one. I would have probably bought the regular one if this wasn't on sale, but I got it because it was on sale. So that's cool. The MX Cherry switches are really expensive. And yeah, it's cool and all. Um, I don't think I went over the USB pass through, but there's the cables here. This is a regular cable and the USB pass through, which you can run like USB hard drives and stuff. And plug your mouse in here. I got my uh, G502 plugged in right now, which I got for Christmas, so that's cool. But, anyways, guys, this is my review on the Corsair RGB Strafe keyboard at retail at $160 off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the in the description it's for the Amazon. So yeah. See you guys there. Chronic out. Peace.